Welcome guys to St. Isaac's Cathedral, the most amazing place building in St. Petersburg in my view. Thank you for the comments guys. It's just that I have been here myself. What's up guys, this is Peter in Russia and uh, in this video we are walking now on Balshaya Marskaya Street right in the very center of St. Petersburg and we are going to, uh, to visit in, inside the most amazing building in my view, most beautiful cathedral in my view, uh, St. Isaac's Cathedral, so we are going to see the beauty not only from the outside or from the top as I filmed it. Actually, I haven't released that video yet from the colonnade. So, you're gonna see it from the inside. So, keep up joining and you're gonna see something very unique. So, welcome, leave a like, comment, and uh, let's go. Garofovaya Street. That's the Admiralty. There's the legendary shopping mall Alpont Rouge on the right. Further. Uh, this uh, street over here, at the end of the street, we're gonna see. We're gonna see the amazing Saint Isaac's Cathedral. Uh, I actually haven't been there for a little while. I think it's like uh, 
maybe 2021. I've also filmed it, if I recall. It was uh, it wasn't finished then. So it's time for an update for my channel for the new subscribers. is called Balshai Marskaya, so it means big, the big, the big uh, sea street, Navy Street, not Navy Street, something like that. More popular is uh, Malai Marskaya, the small sea street. This is how you advertise coffee. Buy a cheap car or a bike and you park it somewhere. Yes, green, a uh, light yellow. Uh, so this is, this building here is uh, in the old Russian language from 1827. This is the first uh, insurance building or organization of uh, Russia. It, we're going to see on the left the great statue of uh, Nikolai I, a rare statue. A year ago, they finally finished the renovation work. to see. I have made also a video last year about it. A few days, maybe a few weeks after it was opened. Legendary Hotel Astoria, the place where allegedly Hitler planned to have his victory party celebration after taking over uh, Leningrad, and you know how that ended. street already in, on my streams that direction towards New Holland Island lovely st stature in England most of our states statues were taken down because Black Lives Matter oh wow same thing as, uh, as USA I guess the influence of American American television and American politics is so big I imagine that even in you know all of those stuff that's are not that way relevant because there's no so such a police brutality thing uh, in European countries. It's some, especially in the Scandinavian, there is no relevance to that. So even though even though uh, racism is there, so people are saying like I can't breathe. They'll talk that type of slogans for for. Uh, that's weird, you know. Well, that's the power of television. And remember that also when we're talking about other stuff. Anyway, we're gonna now go towards Sciences Cathedral, check this amazing beauty. 
best place on earth. out this view guys a lot of loggers here she's vlogging as well so this is the one of the main places for for tourists for uh for vloggers everybody people oh, wow this guy is actually ice skating here. This is good stuff. This is something you cannot buy, this imagery. New video coming up from up there. I have filmed 306 degrees of my beautiful city from up there, colonnade of St. Isaac's Cathedral. But yeah, we're gonna go now inside. Once again, welcome to St. Petersburg. Whoa, <laughs> this thing is falling. Welcome to St. Petersburg and I'm in Russia. We're gonna go inside this iconic place, my most beloved place, building in St. Petersburg, St. Isaac's Cathedral, uh, and spend some little time there watching some details. This is not a historical site, uh, it's a historical channel, but experience channel, so most mostly I talk bullshit. Just kidding. And not just beauty, I show other stuff as well. I'm not one of those who are searching for the most negative thing to show. That's uh, that's somebody, that's some, that's many other YouTubers. Oh my God. Let's see how we're able to get across. This is dangerous. I shouldn't do this, it's, it's Sunday. All right, let's go. I wanted to picture with me. Yeah, for money, you know. I don't do that. That's from super tourists. <laughs> So the prices are for adults 450. Whoa. 450, that's a lot. A lot, by the way. I thought it's like 300. That's not a Музей это называется, да? Да. So it's 450, that's, that's a lot, that's 6 euros. Спасибо. All right, guys, we're going in, but uh, I don't know why people want to do that. Pictures, like generic pictures with some generic stuff. Anyways, 450. I'm broke. But uh, I promised, so we're going. Yeah, it's for Russia. It's expensive because it's Sunday. So it's four fifty. That's like six euros. Usually, like uh, 
the most typical uh, museums are like 300, which is like uh, 4 euros. Right, guys. Yeah, around that. And for Russia, that's a lot. Anyways, if we would go up to Colonnade, we will go there. And I've been there. But enjoy this, guys. This is worth the large. Oh, yeah, we could have buy tickets here as well, online. This is a museum, but they have uh, uh, some like uh, services, church services, a few each year. But this is why we are able to go in to film, because otherwise you cannot film in Russian Orthodox churches. We're in. But I will take my hat off, of course. I hope the internet works. All right, enjoy. Central area, and then we're gonna go all around in peaceful manner. here and uh, or go with the guide but we're not gonna go with the guide it's gonna take uh, too long time and you have to mic up and it's not the content that I want is the internet okay This is a scaffolding for uh, installation of columns of porticos, one six model of life size. I would also, but I'm not able since I'm filming for you. Is the internet cool? Let's 
is an icon of uh, Seto Isaki, so Saint Isaac is here. Saint Isaac icon oil on canvas, 1847. This here is an icon of uh, uh, Saint Paul out of oil, oil on canvas, 1847. You can see his face. There you go. to St. Isaac's Cathedral, the most amazing place, building in St. Petersburg, in my view. I'm gonna explore this whole place. Please subscribe to the channel already, leave a like, because this is totally unique stuff, unless you're able to actually come here. So, and yes, there's a lot of people here. There's always a lot of people everywhere in St. Petersburg, everywhere. There's always a line cafes or top tourist sites, churches, etc. Right, let's continue. So this is uh, the great, these are the great west gate. So we enter through the great uh, south gates it's 42 meters square meters big 20 ton is the weight built in 1848 to 1815 by sculptor Vitali out of oak bronze and casting check it out check the details Moving on guys, there's four of them on each side, I guess, or three, three, because one is the altar side. This is uh, the icon of uh, Saint Peter, 1847, also by the same, well, who do you call these, art, artist, artist. And go through every corner and then down to the center. So this here is a, uh, bust of architecture of this building, Montferrana, yes. This was uh, constructed in the 1850s, M marble, marble, granite, etc. Thank you for the comments, guys. area let's see what do we have here ah, this is actually giving you warm breeze it's warming up the the room just a close off the administration area
said that. I said that I love St. Petersburg and this greatest uh, place, building of the whole city, St. Isaac's Cathedral. Thank you. This is actually much smaller exit, not entrance. And then you can buy some church icons, etc. I'm not gonna go there now. Let's go into the center and go back to go around the building. Actually, you're talking about the Russian language when you're talking about icons, you don't actually paint them or draw them. You say you write them. I don't know how is it in English, by the way, because these are not like just arts. It's like it's they're religious. every centimeter of this place. And thank you for all the comments. Keep them coming. Well, here are some books. Do we have some cheap books here? Russian, it's a leech. I don't know everything by heart. It's a lot of history, of course. It's all about for decades. You can spend the whole day here. Yes, you have to. Russia is in Petersburg. So this one here is a, it says, this is called crucifixion from 1851, oil work. Oil on cannabis. And this uh, icon is called the burial from 1853. Finland, Essa, hello. Mm. We'll have to visit up there from the inside and watch down. You can spend your life here, <laughs> yes. Nice background for the Microsoft Windows. <laughs> All right, so here we have uh, information about the construction, actually. It was uh, the opening from, no, this is the 15 year anniversary of the opening in uh, 30, 30th of May, 1908. actually I'm uh, sorry Finnish sorry Russian uh, yes I, I I also said a lifetime in here sort of kidding though yes once I finish the stream I will also spend some my own time here before I go out and start another stream from the center This here is the Great North Gate, 42 square meters, weight over 20 tons. Mm -hmm. 
этому году, это 42 год фотография. The situation is going on every day and uh, as you can see this is res under restoration because this is exact copy, picture copy, this is not real, it's behind it actually. So that's uh, like uh, they have covered that up, would, would have fooled me. Check out the floor. Yes, also this was bombed. Everything was bombed in Leningrad for 900 days. So this was restored then, but it wasn't destroyed fully. Like for example, the the ones in uh, the. Catherine's Palace, for example, oh, sorry, the Peterhof, for example, which was only foundations were left. This work of art, this icon is from 1847. All of these big ones are uh, uh, written or drawn, how do you say that, by somebody called T. Neff. Neff is this. in all different languages yes you can yes of course there's more Virgin Mary by the way this one is important icon over there you're gonna go there so yes as well let's go closer to the main altar so these type of cathedrals have usually, usually, uh, of course, on the one side, I think it's the north side, uh, you have, or is it, or is it the side where the sun comes up is the altar, if I remember correctly. That's the rules of the uh, Russian Christian church. And you have one altar, but in big ones, like the huge, Cathedrals like Smolny, the way we went three weeks ago. This one, Kazan Cathedral, the huge ones. Uh, cathedrals, in other words. They have the main altar, and then they have one or two on each side also. And the same thing here. So, there's probably another one over there, but we're gonna see now. Let's go. And, uh, so I know the inside. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not worried about the six euro pricing at all. It's just that I have been here. I'm here for you guys. And of course, I enjoyed myself. Christ, Jesus Christ on the right and Mother Mary icon on the left. what these gates usually symbolizes why they are so decorated always to the altars basically they are a metaphorical word for gates to heaven to god's kingdom i just saw like a, well somebody who works here a, a woman and this is why I know this is not like an active church because in altar you women are not allowed. 
of the, because of the old traditions. And take a glimpse inside. side. the other side uh, side altar and this is for like a smaller scale services so it's a holy water blessed water Basically here is people who actually are like Christian Orthodox, like myself, not just tourists. Basically entering this side altar is basically entering the new church over again. Oh, sorry, I did I miss this. Could have yeah, that's what I said. It's basically the own church within a church, so same rules, but I missed it, sorry. I would have not filmed it otherwise. Yes, the ladies have to cover their heads, but especially inside there, as you can see, everybody's covered. But here, not everybody, because this is like a mainly museum. This is not a church anymore. Cathedral is mainly a museum, having once or two uh, services during the year. That's why many don't have their heads covered if they're not like religious. See who's this? This is a bust of architecture once again, Monteran. One who saw the same bust from the same person. Right, we have now almost walked all the way on this amazing Yes, this is the south gates. So we actually entered through the side store. This is the south gate. But the entrance is from the south side. Yeah. And the exit is from the north from there, as a tourist I mean.
in Manchester respect is uh, I'm a Orthodox myself. This is my church, so I'm not a tourist here. So I'm, I'm doing it as I'm like supposed to, you know, <laughs> because uh, yeah, you get it. And this is how yeah somebody asked about what happened during the World War. So yeah, there was a uh, air defense battery in the uh, Alexander Park where we came from where the girl the boy was uh, skating during 41 to 44 and the uh, stuff uh, memorial uh, memorial exhibition was is in the ba in the basement by the way and uh, the people from the museum personnel were of this uh, Isaac Cathedral were at the meeting or uh, at the meeting of a uh, revolutionary anniversary I don't get that anniversary thing but yeah and of course during the Soviet time this wasn't the churches weren't appreciated St. Isaac's Cathedral from the inside. I'm gonna spend some time on my own here and uh, spend my own quality time just a little bit. And I will continue streaming on the other stream from City Center. So check out my uh, YouTube channel. There's already a video marked there to start in a while, but I will start it as soon as I get somewhere where I want to. Please subscribe. Uh, share this video to friends and support the channel if you want to become a member uh, or you can also just use uh, super chat or super shoot super chat or super sticker to support the channel and uh, see you guys in a while bye bye 360 degree show case in the end